Last night was the Royal Rumble. I don't even know what to tell you right now. By what I saw last night with the Royal Rumble and who won it. It really pisses me off as a fan. 30 anniversary in the Alamo Dome. You got people paying hard-earned money to go watch a pay-per-view. No matter if it's $50 or $100. People go and watch the Royal Rumble last night. And I was looking forward to it. You know, what Triple H said, I was looking forward to this pay-per-view. And then I see the outcome of it. Can you please tell me, how do you have Randy Orton win the Royal Rumble this year? Is this 2008 and 2009 all over again? When Randy Orton won the Royal Rumble in 2009. How do you have that happen and have that take place? Yes, it was cool. To, I loved when Ty Dillinger came out last night, number 10. I loved it. But that was the best part of the Royal Rumble match. The best part. I was literally tweeting last night. And I was blowing up Twitter big time. People were blowing me up on Twitter last night with, with, with tweets. And I was reading people's tweets about it. You mean to tell me that you're going to give that spot to Randy Orton? You have him win the Royal Rumble this year. Who booked this crap? This was poor, poor booking, bad creative. And we have to, the fans have to sit through a match like that and have him win the Royal Rumble. First off, he didn't deserve that. Where was Samoa Joe? Where was Finn Balor? Where was Kurt Angle? The Royal Rumble is supposed to be an awesome pay-per-view every single year, okay, where we see special entrances. You mean to tell me that you put Samoa Joe number, th you put, so let me take that back, you put Roman Reigns number 30, but he was in the WWE World Heavyweight title. He was in the WWE Universal Championship match against Kevin Owens. And then he he's in the Royal Rumble immediately? Number freaking 30, bro? You put Roman Reigns number 30 when he just came out of a universal title match. That's not supposed to happen. That's why people were bearing this rumble. That's why I'm bearing it. Because the pay-per-view was complete garbage, bro. You, you have Roman Reigns eliminate The Undertaker. And Roman Reigns was number 30. You mean to tell me that having Roy Randy Orton win the Royal Rumble is a good idea? It's completely, it's a failure. Roman Reigns is, a, is failing so damn much and you keep pushing him. He will never be the guy. Never. This is why fans are canceling the WWE Network because of this. And you got WrestleMania coming around very soon. And this is how you book the Royal Rumble match. This was poor booking, bad creative. I know Kevin Dunn is behind this. You have Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and Bray Wyatt. The last three participants. Randy is number 23. Oh, Triple H said, you'll never see it coming. That sh I listen. I'd have no problem with Bray Wyatt winning the Royal Rumble this year. I'd have no problem with that. But you give it to Roman. You give it to Randy Orton. Didn't you see what happened at 2015 when Reigns won the Rumble? Didn't you realize and think back what happened at the 2015, the 2015 Rumble, the 2014, the 2016 Rumble? Are you guys so damn pathetic that you don't understand? You don't give a damn about the fans. You don't care about the fans. You say you do, but you don't. You don't care about the WWE fans. Because if you did, you, this would crap would not be happening. 
This crap of Randy Orton winning the Royal Rumble would not have happened. People, you overhyped this pay-per-view. And this is what you give us. This is what you this is how you treat us. We pay money. We buy your merchandise. We buy your shirts. We buy your DVDs. We buy stuff. And this is what you give us back in return. You give Randy Orton that win. All the fans were pissed off right now that this that this guy won the rumble. He didn't deserve it. And now we're gonna see John Cena versus Randy Orton at the Royal at WrestleMania. We this 2009 when he won it all over again, and then 2008 when we saw you know John Cena and Randy Orton again. We're seeing it. I don't give a damn about this match. I'm not interested in it. It's poor booking. It's not a good idea. It's not money because we saw it before, and now we're gonna see it again. WrestleMania is supposed to be one of your biggest pay-per-views every year. Every year. And this is how you do it. This is what you do. This is the outcome that you give us. Fans are canceling their WWE Network. People are rioting right now because of what you did. And we slapped you in the face for what you did to us. Oh, they're laughing. I know, yeah, you guys are laughing right now. But this is the crap that you pull on us. Where is Samoa Joe? Samoa Joe should have been number 30. But you give the spot to Roman Reigns, who's boring, who sucks, who's a failure, who is boring in the ring. And this is what you give us. Nonetheless, you have to eliminate The Undertaker. You have to eliminate The Undertaker. What kind of bullshit is that? You know, there is, there, there is a reason why people are canceling the network. There's a reason why people are doing it. And I wouldn't be too surprised if people... We're not letting the wrestlers come out. And you guys love that? You guys love that Randy Orton is the winner of the Rumble? And you're and you're happy with that? You mean to tell me that you're happy that the Viper won the Royal Rumble? And you're happy that Roman Reigns came out 30? You're happy about all that stupid garbage? You're, you, you accept that? You accept that Randy Orton won the Rumble last night? I don't accept that because I know that's poor booking, that's bad creative. Kevin Dunn is probably damn behind all this crap. One of the worst pay-per-views of of this year. Okay? What a failure. And you got WrestleMania coming around. And you have Randy Orton win the Rumble. I don't know what... WWE, you have not learned your lesson. You haven't. You haven't learned your lesson. And you probably never will listen to us. So people cancel the network. I don't blame them. I don't. I don't blame them for what they, for what they're doing. Because they just they are upset with you. I'm not accepting Randy Orton to win the Rumble. I don't accept that bull crap. That should have been Bray Wyatt. Goldberg comes out. Brock come out. So Randy, Randy Orton wins it. I'm not accepting that. I don't accept that. That was poor booking. Bad creative. They could have done so much better for the Royal Rumble. And this is the 30th anniversary. And you have in the Alamo Dome. Um, okay, I just don't accept that. I'm pissed. I'm furious that he won it. AJ Styles and John Cena, man, match was good. Loved it. They both went back and forth. AJ Styles, man, did his moves. Um, he tried to do. Um, John Cena put AJ Styles in the figure four match. Cena wins it. He's going to WrestleMania. They both did good. They performed good. It was the match of the night. It stole the show. I'm happy with both out both of them. It should have been the last match of the night. 
because it stole the show out of all the matches. The Royal Rumble should not have been the main event. Put it that way. Uh, Braun Strowman comes out in the Kevin Owens match. Um, we have James Eldwood in it. Those stupid idiots. Um, so, Kevin Owens was put on um, Reigns on the table. He did a frog splash through the table. Um, Kevin Owens went through a bunch of chairs. Kevin Owens retained the title. Um, Charlotte, so, Kevin Owens won it. Match was good. I just wasn't interested in it, though. Um, Braun Strowman came out and de beat up Kevin Owens. Um, beat up Roman Reigns, so Roman Reigns lost the title. Charlotte Bailey. Charlotte's a 16-time women's champion now. Match is good. Charlotte wins by her finish. Um, Neville's the new Cruiserweight champion. The match was good. Loved it. Both good performers. Good in the ring. I loved it. Neville's a good heel. He's going to make that title mean something, even though Witch Swan did good too as well. But I can't wait to see what Neville's going to do. He reminds me of Billy Kidman a lot. Um, so, I guess I got everything, guys. But overall, this pay-per-view was so bad. Poor booking. I... This pay-per-view was worse than 2011. Was worse. People say it wasn't. It was. You And people say this pay-per-view was awesome. Are you kidding me, bro? This pay-per-view was not awesome. This pay-per-view was flat up garbage. Till then, guys, follow me on Twitter at the Talk Show 101. Link will be below. That is my review. Till then, guys, click the red subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys on the next wrestling topic. Subscribe.